ready? Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up your standard American child in a house, electricity, TV in the suburb. And uh, so when I started farming, it was a real kind of healing for me to get back into the natural rhythms and um, find out who I was. And, and it, it would be a stretch to say that I'm a biodynamic farm because it's a long-term project to get to that point. And I'm definitely not there yet, but it's, it's the model we're working towards. In 1924, a spiritual philosopher named Rudolf Steiner introduced a type of organic farming that emphasized the relationship of soil, plants, and animals in one unified system. The most important piece of it is to try to create a farm that's self-sustaining. Most modern organic farming is kind of conventional farming with organic inputs. And so, you know, really trying to close that circle and bring it onto the farm. The goal is to either have the animals or the cover crop or whatever system you use to build fertility on the farm and then you use that fertility to grow your produce. So is this similar to what people were doing hundreds of years ago where they had both crops and animals and orchards and trees and... Yeah, yeah, it, it basically to accomplish the goal you have to have a diversified farm. You can't, you can't kind of monocrop um, any one thing. You know, economically, vegetables are how I make a living. And mm -hmm. so, you know, there's always that compromise in ecological farming and keeping your job, keeping, <laughs> mm -hmm. making money and then, you know, creating this this dream that you have of ecological, yeah, of healing the earth and creating a, a, a little garden of Eden, I guess you could say. We've opened our farm up to lots of different people um, to come and work, to come and live, to just basically experience that farm. And it seems like everybody who comes really has this kind of subconscious yearning to experience farm life and, and they always walk away a little more satisfied and a little more happy. And, So everybody loves the farm somewhere inside of them. <laughs> <laughs>